Hi everyone, and welcome to our video on how to make a silhouette at home. My name is Hannah, and I'll be guiding you through the project step by step. So first off, what exactly is a silhouette? Well, in our collection at Genesee Country Village and Museum, we have a lot of examples. These ones that you see here are made from cut paper with black silk backdrops, and were created to memorialize someone you loved. Since other mediums like photography and commissioned paintings were expensive in the mid-19th century, this was an inexpensive way to capture the essence of a loved one. So let's get started. To start, you'll need a few things. First, you'll have to find a room that's dark. So either pick a time of day that it's dark out or a room that you could make dark. You'll then have to gather a few supplies, the main ones being paper of your choice, a pencil with a sharpened tip, and if you're going old school, some candles to help make the shadow. You can also use a flashlight. Modern technology is always acceptable. You'll then have to find an unassuming model to sit for your silhouette. Gather a chair and place it next to a blank wall where you can do your tracing. Then grab some tape, here I use painter's tape so it wouldn't damage the wall, and place the paper at head level with your model. All right, now turn off your lights and start lighting the candles. Be careful, fire is dangerous. Always be safe and use candles in a safe setting. Disclaimer though, the candles that I had on hand did not burn bright enough to give off a good shadow, so I did resort to using a lamp to get a brighter shadow. You do you too. Also, I'll admit it now, but I did switch my paper out for a larger sheet. So now it's time for the tracing. First, remind your model that this is very serious business and to keep their head very still. Using the pencil, draw the lines along the shadow of the model's head, getting as much detail as you'd like in there. This is a bit of a blooper, but this is what happened when we tried to use a smaller sheet of paper with his head and just trace inside of the shadow rather than tracing the actual lines of the shadow. Okay. Oh, good God! Look like that. <laughs> Anywho, for the second portion of this project, you will need to have some other type of material for your backdrop. It could be anything. It could be cardboard. It could be colored paper. It could be whatever you want. In my case, this was the moment that I realized that I had nothing in my house besides white paper. And given that it was late at night and dark outside, and we are currently in the middle of a pandemic, I resorted to what I had. So I pulled this cereal box out of my recycle bin and made it work. We are reducing, reusing, and recycling here. So if this is what you got, this is what you got to work with. So I grabbed some black paint I had and I painted the cardboard and this is going to be the backdrop. And it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. You make this exactly how you want it. Um, just do your best and give it a shot. See what happens. So now you can put this aside, uh, let it dry for a little bit and we will start to cut out our silhouette. So now you're going to grab the tracing of your model's head. You can see in mind that there are faint pencil lines, and I'm sure yours will look similar when you try it out. You're going to take your scissors and begin to cut along the lines of the tracing so that you make a positive and a negative profile of your model's head. You'll want to keep the negative side of this cut out. And once again, you can keep in as much detail or take out as much detail as you want. It's really up to you. Um, this project is all about what you want to make. so. Have fun with it. I also just want to say that this is only one way to make silhouettes. There are other ways to make them, and one is to be uh, way more skillful with scissors and just look at the profile of someone and in real time cut out their profile just with scissors. There's no tracing involved. So if you're interested in trying that way, I would go ahead and look online at how to do that because it's um, very impressive when you see it. So now I'm realizing that my paint is not dry, so I'm going to take a quick blow drying intermission. So now you're going to start taking your masking tape or painter's tape as I have in the video, or you can use glue or whatever adhesive you'd like, and you're going to start taping down one side of your profile onto the backing board. Ideally, you'd probably have your whatever backing you have as um, 
as big as the portrait that you're making, but in my case, I'm just going for it because I'm working with what I got. Then you'll bring back your unassuming model and politely ask them to sign the portrait. Then they can keep it and cherish it hopefully forever because you put so much hard work into it. And this is the final. This is what I have created and I am proud. And I hope that you guys are proud when you try this out. So thank you guys so, so much for joining us. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can find us and tag us online at GCV Museum. Hope you all are staying happy and healthy and we hope to see you guys soon. Take care.